for the kids for two hours. I entertain them seven days a week. They know all the Sesame Street songs, okay? I'm just, I'm really on to something here. Oh, hi, I'm Andy, and welcome to my perfect kitchen where nothing ever goes wrong and I never storm out in tears. Well, my kitchen's pretty nice, but let me tell you, some of the kitchens in this town where I live in, well, my husband and I moved to the suburbs three months and 30 days ago, so almost four months, but it's really something else out here. But don't worry, I've never become one of those people. You'll always be able to turn into the cakes have eyes to see some sloppy mess, just casually disheveled, big 70s hair. Today, we're making a cake inspired by a movie that seriously messes me up every time I see it for like a week. The Stepford Wives. The Stepford Wives 1975 is so horrifying because it is so close to reality. It's great horror in that way. And yeah, we'll see if I break down several times while making this cake. We're going to be making what I call my ring-ding surprise. This cake recipe is from Bitsy Cakes. Bitsy Cakes is great, very funny, very entertaining, and has a great recipe to kick some box cake recipes up a little bit. So, rather than labor in the kitchen all day, I'm going to use a cake mix, semi-homemade, Add some ermine or boiled flour frosting you might know it as to add some body and then insert the surprise. So get your ingredients ready, tie back your hair, put on your overalls, and let's go make some cake. Turn on both of your ovens. Each oven will bake one cake. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do with a single oven. I'd waste so much time. Rather than make three eight inch cake layers, I'm going to make two eight inch cake layers that are extra high that I'm then going to cut in half. So let's prepare those pans with a little bit of baking spray and then cut out some parchment rounds for them. This recipe really couldn't be easier. Basically, what you do is you take all your pieces, you take your oil, your milk, your sugar, a little bit of flavor, some extra eggs, and throw them all in one big bowl, mix it up, and then bake for a little bit. It's not terribly difficult, but if your cakes don't rise, the whole plan basically falls apart. Remember that one of the cardinal rules of baking is to never admit when you chose the wrong size bowl. Stay true. Mommy's little helper.
I'm using cake strips here that I soaked in cold water before putting them around the cake pans to try to make sure that the cake levels were as flat and even as possible. It's a step that was totally unnecessary since I forgot that cake box mixes don't usually have big domes. So skip this step. Even with the minimal mixing that this cake recipe requires, you'll probably find that your batter is pretty bubbly. So drop the pan with the batter on the counter a couple times until the biggest air bubbles stop coming to the surface. Since there's a little bit of extra batter, don't I deserve happiness? with my own mini cake. Don't die. Okay. Well, my cakes are in the oven. I did a bunch of things that are going to adversely affect the cooking time. Altered a box cake recipe, <laughs> put cake rings around them to try to flatten out the top, put them on aluminum pans because I overfilled the pans and I don't want it to overflow into my oven. So this is going to take, I have no idea how long. Yeah, while this cooks, I'm going to start prepping my ermine frosting because you've got to do a part of it you have to boil flour and some other ingredients and then let that come down to room temperature before you whip it back up into frosting. So I'm going to do that now because today's just gotta get away from me because my husband and I are supposed to go to the plaza for three days this weekend. It's kind of a second honeymoon. I mean, we've just been having such a hard time since we moved. We really just need this time to connect He's been spending so much time at his men's club. He's been really struggling to find friends who care about anything except for children and housekeeping. I'll get my airman frosting cooling while these hopefully bake and turn out. And then, I don't know, let it all rest, go away for a little bit, rekindle with the hubs, and then finish my ringing surprise. Like the cakes, Ermin frosting is actually really easy. You combine flour, sugar, a little bit of salt, and some flavor extract. Boil that till it thickens almost into a pudding consistency. Let it cool, and then beat it with some butter. Okay, real talk time. What's really horrifying about the Stepford Wives, and it is horrifying, terrifying even, it's not scary, it fills you with terror, is, and this is from someone who is approaching 40 and lived in New York for years and now lives in the suburbs. What's so scary about it is, okay, if you don't know the spoilers, Stop watching this, go watch The Stepford Wives. It's literally free on YouTube. It's two hours, it's spectacular. If it doesn't sit with you yet, wait till you get a little bit older and try again. What's so terrifying about The Stepford Wives is that it's kind of a movie about you being pressured into the societal expectations of other people. It's a movie about the person you trust the most, the person you have chosen to spend your life with, do they consider you a person or do they consider you and basically their right hand? Are you basically just there for sex and maintaining their happiness and keeping their life in the way that they want? And it's a fear that when you're in a long-term relationship, especially in an ice, a place that can be really isolating, like suburbs, 
It's terrifying. It's so scary to sit there and think, are these the things I want to do? Or are these the things I feel like I'm supposed to do? Am I doing these things to keep my husband happy? And are they actually making me happy? Literally, I say this as someone who makes cakes all the time and loves baking and loves doing things like that. So I don't know, it's, it's so, and the women are so incredible. Joanna, Bobby, 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 Charmaine. Oh, it's almost like it would be better if it wasn't robots. Oh, spoiler, I said it. But if it was just the pressure of fitting in, the pressure of keeping a nice home, the pressure of tranquilizing yourself from what you want to what society or your husband or your community wants and expects of you. Because really, we step for it ourselves. No one has to make us robots. We lean into it ourselves. And especially as you get older and you're in the suburbs and things feel comfortable, you also see where it's enchanting. It's seductive. You can feel yourself wanting to live that easiness and just sedate yourself or tranquilize yourself against your own ambition. And that's really terrifying. Man, the separate wives. Now I'm bummed out. Oh. You can feel when it starts to turn. That's, that's getting to pudding. Three minutes on the clock. Oh, thank God. Okay. So, at least one of the mitigating steps for these cakes was unnecessary. The center sunk a little bit, which suggests that something happened, either they rose too quickly, which seems unlikely, or the heat wasn't evenly distributed. But you know, they got kind of a brain quality on the top, which is really on brand. Because of my plans leader with my husband, I just got a store-bought cherry pie. If that makes me a bad mom or a bad house frau, so be it. I'm going to throw all these dirty dishes in the dishwasher, let technology do what technology does best, and then get ready to go away for the weekend. It should be really great, really restful, and I don't know, finish this all up once we return. I'll be right back. I'm sorry, I'm such a mess. Well, that time away was exactly what we needed to get on the same page again. My boiled flour for my ermine frosting is at a nice room temperature, a perfect 72 degrees. My chocolate cake layers, they're nice and chill, so I can cut them in half and scoop out a little bit of extra room because my husband loves frosting. Doesn't he deserve to get what he loves for everything that he does for us? So let's whip up some frosting. Let's prepare these layers and cool them so that we can finally get our ring-ding surprise ready. Mm. I'll just die if I don't get this recipe. As promised, ermine frosting couldn't be easier. All you do is soften your butter and then mix in your cooled, boiled flour mixture. It's just that easy. 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 With my cake layers chilled, it was an easy job to cut them in half and then 
use a cookie cutter to core out the middle to make extra room for my ring ding filling. I don't know about you, but I just can't rest until I know that every surface in my home is clean for my darling children and devoted husband. That's why I turn to Method All Surface Cleaning Spray. It's the best! Oh my, after that weekend away, I must have had too much to eat. I'm looking awful chesty. I better go to the tailor later and let some of my blouses out. I'm filling the cavities that I carved into the cake layers with ermine frosting and then using just a little bit more frosting to hold them together. And now for the surprise. In between the cake layers, I'll put a cherry pie and then pack it in with some more ermine frosting. Top it off with the other two cake layers and then a thin crumb coat around the entire thing. Then pop it into the fridge while we prepare some ganache. Hmm. I'll just die if I don't get this recipe. I'll just die if I don't get this recipe. Mm. I'll just die if I don't get this recipe. Okay, my cake has had a little bit more time to chill and set in the fridge, so I'm going to effortlessly move it. This doesn't give me any anxiety at all. Now I did whip up a quick dark chocolate ganache to cover this messy, ugly little cake. I used an old family recipe, although there's a weird note here. I don't even know what that means. Okay, let's pour our ganache. I have reserved a little bit of ganache that I've popped into the fridge though, so that I can add some nice decorative elements to this ringing surprise. I'll leave that for my husband to lick later. It looks great. Mmm, I'll just die if I don't get this recipe. Now that it's coated in a perfect layer, we're going to put it back in the fridge to set for a little bit longer. Then we're going to top it off and it'll be finally time for our ringing surprise. Oh, ooh, don't worry. It's just my head. It's not anything important. Okay, let's finish this cake. I put a small amount of my ganache in a piping bag and put it in the refrigerator for about half an hour to make it a nice, fudgy, pipeable consistency. And what ringing surprise would be complete without some maraschino cherries on top? Watch out, look too long, and it might blink. And it's just that easy. Ringing surprise for my darling children and loving husband. Slice now. Not too much. I need to get my trim figure. Oh. <laughs> okay. Here we go. <gasps> A surprise indeed. 
tons of filling, and a nice slice of cherry pie. Oops, and a piece. Way too big for this plate. <clears throat> Gushy. Okay, let's have a little bite. I'll just die if I don't get this recipe. Die if I don't get this recipe. I'll just die if I don't get this recipe. I will fucking die if I don't get this recipe. Archaic. Be right back. Making men tuck in shirts and wear pants instead of sweaters, skirts, and dresses is torture porn. And that is not the kind of movie that I enjoy. <clears throat> this cake is so good. It has so much frosting in it. The great thing about urban frosting is that it's not sweet. It's very, very much like a fluffy filling, like you think of like Hostess cupcakes. Not actually. If you have a Hostess cupcake now, it will not be what you remember. This is an approximation of what you think it tastes like, and it tastes better than that. Bitsy Cakes' recipe for these box cakes, mwah, delicious. If you're a pie person, you can make your own pie, but honestly, just buying a pie and sticking it in the middle of a cake. Delicious upgrade. Thank you so much for watching my absurdity. Please like, subscribe, share, hate watch, watch while you laugh, watch while you cry, send it to someone you love who needs to laugh, send it to someone you hate who has no taste and is just going to feel trolled by you sending this to them. No matter what, please go watch Stepford Wives and be amazed at the beautiful, incredible women and the piece of shit men who betray them so early. It's really horrifying. But thanks again for watching. Make sure you take the time to make yourself a cake, buy a cake, just no matter what, go eat some cake. Thanks.